Hi class, welcome to the credit cards tab on major assignment to Excel for Math 144. On this tab, you are going to be exploring a credit card and exploring what it would be like to pay off a credit card month by month, examining how your money is working to pay off that credit card month by month, examining the interest, what your current balance is at, and how your monthly payment chips away at that current balance. At the start of this tab, you are going to be given a situation under that part five. You want to start by reading through your situation and entering in all the appropriate information into part, part 5a. So I'm going to do that and then I will start the video again after I have my information entered into the green cells. So I've started by entering in all my information into the green cells. For the green cells, you do not need an Excel formula, so you can type the values in, make sure you follow any appropriate formatting. In the gold cells, this is where you need to start using Excel formulas. In the gold cells, you're gonna determine your minimum payment. Your minimum payment is going to be is the maximum of 2.5% of the starting balance or the set amount of $25. So you're going to have the maximum of the set amount or the percentage based payment. The percentage based payment is the percentage times the starting balance. And then you wanna find the maximum of those two. When you find the maximum, make sure you use the max function to find the maximum between the percentage based payment and the set amount. So I used an Excel formula to calculate my percentage base payment, which was the percentage given to me in the problem, that 2.5% times my starting balance. And then I found the maximum the, using the max function of that amount and my set amount. So then my minimum payment is going to be the 5375 because that was the larger amount between my percentage base payment and my set amount. So the my payment for my credit card will be $53.75. It is going to be that amount in C19. In part 5B, after you finish that part 5A, in part 5B, you should see your current balance already fill in. That should be the starting balance from the problem above the starting balance you have listed in your green cell. You are going to start with that and you are going to subtract off your first payment. Your payment is going to be that amount you have in C19. So all of the payments are going to remain the same down the table. The balance after payment is where you're going to subtract the payment off of the current balance. And then the interest is going to be the interest applied for that period. And then the next current balance will have the interest added on to the previous current balance. So here I have completed the first two rows. So let me talk through what I did. So again, I started with the 2,150 in the gray cell. I cell reference the payment down from above in cell that C19. Then I took my current balance minus my payment to get the balance after payment. And then I calculated my interest. My interest is based off the balance after payment my APR, and the payments per year. Then in the second row, I found my new current balance, which is my balance after the payment, plus the interest added onto that to get my new current balance. I brought down the same payment. We're making the same payment throughout the entire table. I took the new current balance minus that payment to get me the balance after the payment, and then the interest I calculated in the same way. I took the balance after the payment times the APR divided by the number of payments per year. Continue that way down the table until you get to where your payment is below 5375. I'm sorry, until your current balance gets below your payment amount. Now, when you get down towards the end of your payment, you're going to get to the point where your current balance is less than the payment. So for me, this happened at period 65. My current balance is 2767. My payments I was making were 5375. So here I want to change it to zero out at the very end. So at the very end, I would make my final payment of 2767. And then that would leave my balance of zero. And then I'd have zero interest applied because I have zero balance left on the credit card. 
So follow any additional instructions by your instructor to figure out how exactly they want you to zero out that last row and make sure you get to zero dollars at the end of your credit card. Once you finish your credit card payments, once you finish that entire table, get down to zero dollars. Now you can calculate how many years it took you to pay off, what was the total amount paid, and what was the total interest you paid. All right, the number of years you paid it off, that's going to be all of the periods you did converted to years. So each period represents a month. So figure out your total number of periods and then convert that to years. Make sure you use an Excel formula with appropriate cell references. The total amount paid is going to be the sum of all those payments you made. Amount of interest, total interest paid, is going to be the sum of all that interest paid. Make sure you format everything appropriately, and this finishes the credit card tab.